Ryan. Hi, I'm Mike Miller. Hope you're having a great day. I appreciate you watching. I've been doing these shows for about five years, and I appreciate all the very talented guests who've been on this show. Thanks for checking out the interview, and stay tuned to check out some great music. Well, um, if it weren't for video, what would we know about some of the bands of the past, you know, or anybody, like comedians and talk show hosts, but I want to remember what they were like. It's so cool to be able to go out there and watch videos, you know, and that is an amazing feature of the internet because it, otherwise it would have cost me a hundred thousand dollars a year to do these shows to have to go see everybody all the time you know down at places where they have cover charges and i'd have to drink beer <laughs> but um, yeah so the internet has its advantages for sure Tell me, follow your dreams, and they say to Hi there, and welcome to The Other Side. The show was created to bring on uh, local creative people, musicians, artists, photographers, and um, today I have some special guests. Glad to have you here. Good to see you. bring creative people to to you to check out. There's a lot of creative people in North Texas and my guest today is Colton Jones. I appreciate you being here, man. Thank you. My guest today is a talented man who is making his mark on the North Texas music scene. He runs an open mic at Abbey Underground and one of the founding members of Star Party. I'm glad to have Jake Steinberg here today, man. Appreciate you being here. Hello, Stephen. It's great to be here, baby. I think people are very interesting, all the different kinds of people, personalities that we have, and um, I really like art, drawings, paintings, photography, and of course I really think music is very interesting at so many levels and in so many ways. I believe in the power of music. This track is um, written um, kind of as a it's almost like a gay anthem. It's for uh, those 
people who are feeling lost and alone. Um, but there's hope. Honored to have you here today. Honored to be here, thank you. Thank you for coming down, and it's turned out to be a really nice day today. Yeah, it's beautiful outside. It was a little, little chilly this morning, but it's turned out to be lovely. Well, you do work hard, and I'm, I'm impressed with your, your albums here. This is your first album, 2014. 2014, 14. yes. Um, 11 songs, mm -hmm. and this is all just you. That was completely solo. Um, I had gone on a, um, I quit my job at the public school to kind of do some soul searching in yeah. a way to have time. And I was on this long road trip and that's where I kind of wrote a lot of the music that's on that album. Yeah, Snake um, in the Grass. Yeah, Snake in the Grass, um, Black Water. I wrote at a cemetery while I was out in Tennessee that oh, really? I went to. Yeah. You have a degree in music from UNT. I do, yeah. I, I got my degree in uh, 2009. 2009. I got a, a degree in music from, from here, from where yeah. we are. I really appreciate you coming down today, and I don't want to leave too little amount of time for you to play. And um, so you guys stay tuned and check out Poppy Xander playing some music for you and Google her and check her out in the future. Thanks for watching. There was a time when I said too much Words bubbled over, cost nearly not enough And welling up from inside my throat They strangled me till I choked Leaving me there with a sinister stare My jaw they almost broke We're all influenced by people of the past, our parents, and grandparents, and people that we've read about in history. And we have a, a really good safety net, I feel like, around here in the North Texas area. People are friendly and people try to watch out for each other and take care of each other. And Denton, Texas is a great town to live in. Bluegrass Fire. My name is Rachel Yates. This is Becca Maxwell on bass and Annie McEwen on 12 string guitar. Thanks so much, everybody. Thanks so much for watching The Other Side. I've been honored to have more than a hundred very talented guests on this show. And my guest today is a multi instrumentalist, singer, songwriter, and I'm glad to have Tim Knighton. Thank you for being here, man. Yeah. Appreciate you being here. Thank you. You were on the show a long time ago, and then you're back now. <laughs> yeah, hey, that was, that was a long time ago. Yeah, I had yeah. just met you. Yeah, you just moved to Denton, I think. Had been here about a year, or? Uh, I'd been here, I think, about two years at that point. Really? Two or three. Yeah. yeah. I don't even remember exactly how we met. I think probably Jupiter House Coffee. Jupiter House Coffee, uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Another thing about playing up around, like up around Jupiter House is yeah. that you you end up like finding a lot of people that just want to teach you things, you know. Yeah. And, and which is great. It's like you know you're you're getting this education with just by you know being around. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, yeah. Pretty cool, yeah, I've, but I've found a lot of people te- to teach me a lot of new techniques, and it's been great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's so yeah. many different kinds of people. The Denton has a really rich uh, social environment, it seems. Yeah, and that's what I love about this place. Yeah. yeah. Let's see if I had anything else. I think I've known you a long time. I know there's probably things I'm forgetting, but... Uh, uh, it's okay. <laughs> Some things are meant to be forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I do enjoy doing the TV shows, uh, finding out more about people's approach to life, their reason for doing the kind of music that they do and the dreams they have. That's very fulfilling to me to find out about these very personal things from the talented people who are on the shows. And I personally appreciate um, a lot of simple things in life. I really cannot afford to participate in and too many things that cost very much money, but I try to find happiness in the simple things of life.
Thank you. I'm Chelsea Danielle. You can find me on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and uh, love to see you at a live show sometime. Hi, I'm Mike Miller. I hope you're having a great day. Thanks so much for watching The Other Side. Well, I was born in St. Louis and then when I was 12, we moved to North Louisiana after my dad died and I auditioned for the Louisiana Tech Marching Band and um, was a drummer with them and then uh, won a poetry contest while at Louisiana Tech and some other writing contests. And so I moved to Dallas and worked as a writer and got into the corporate world and eventually telecommunications. And um, but was laid off early in my telecommunications career and um, thought I could find work in Denton, but it's a competitive market. So um, I've just done a lot of projects and then done the TV shows as a volunteer. My guest today is an amazing guy with a lot of talent. He runs some open mics around town and is a talented musician, and I'm glad to have Brett Crow. Brett, thank you for being here. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate you. So how's everything been going for you this week? Great. It's been a beautiful week. guys have been playing music together about four or five years now yeah yeah I think Trump. I was was I still in a uh, in high school when yeah, we were, we doing were this? still yeah we were still were, that yeah, age. Uh -huh. yeah mm -hmm. we're always we're always up to something I mean it's it's a music town people always if they know you play people want you to play yeah 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 so projects some don't get off the ground yeah. Some do. Really? Yeah. <laughs> that first show at J&J's, yeah. <laughs> I had a kick drum under me, and I was... We, we covered that White Winter Hymnal song by, uh, by oh, Fleet Foxes. Yeah. yeah, we did the... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was intimidating, though. But that was, that was it. That was the I wish I had an actual date of that. But I don't. out next to the school that I went to when I was 14, when I was 14. And the hits I was spent through the words that I meant to keep, unfortunately, unfortunately. Yeah, it really it really changes as as time goes on. You know, I meet new people that that um, you know teach me so much or help me in so many ways and and fulfill needs that I have and and sometimes older friends uh, you know people uh, become distanced because of their jobs and lives and things like that and so it's important to meet new people where you can just talk about the freshness of your life and things that are going on now I think. A lot of philosophers agree that work is one of the most important things that everybody needs to find 
some kind of work that they excel at, that they enjoy, that fits them, you know. And it's been a dilemma for me uh, since I have kind of a general background. I've been out of work for a long time and couldn't find any writing or editing work. But, um, and so that is frustrating. So I, I channeled that into doing these TV shows, I guess, you know, and it allowed me to kind of use my general research skills and general interview skills that go along with writing. But um, now with the internet, the, the whole world is like one community. We just have so many different ideas and beliefs and things like that. But uh, I hope we can all work toward a more peaceful community in the future. I watched some of your videos on the internet. <laughs> I don't even want to know which ones you saw, man. Who is that a picture of in the background when you're in, like, playing guitar? That might be Bob Marley. Yes, those, like I said, that seems like such a lifetime ago. Oh, those are a little bit older? Those are a little bit older from at least 2010, 2011, or somewhere around there. All right, thank you very much for having me here on the other side, being a special guest. My name's Dunashe, and it's such a pleasure to be here. I want to start off this performance by uh, playing a song that I have called Secrets and Flaws. I wrote it because it's something that we all have, something that we all try to hide, but I feel like it's something that we all have to look past if we really want to see the true beauty in one another. to go through just to get here and I'm surprised I'm still alive to see your face even though it doesn't show downside I know you know that you're the last person that I'd ever replace my guests today are very creative and talented and I'm honored to have Sun Slim appreciate you being here appreciate and, uh, you Mike Neely Rose thank Amen. you for coming in of course Anyone can teach their hands to uh, play a series of notes, but it's the feeling that carries through and makes it matter. Um, and also, it, they really reinforce the point that it's not about uh, being a pop star or a rock star. It's not about you. It's about uh, let, letting something go through you and, and giving a gift to somebody. So that's why I always try to keep in mind when I'm playing music. All the music that you appreciate. You've created a YouTube channel and you have about 50 videos out there of some of your favorite blues songs and things like that. Oh, yeah. I follow. Um, I, I remember the first time I saw YouTube, I was uh, like most technology, I'm a little late to it. I, um, as I was always a big record person. And I remember the first time I saw YouTube, I, the first thing I looked up was Lightning Hopkins. Yeah. And I'd never seen video of him before. Oh, really? Yeah, to see what and he so really looked I'd, like. Of course, I'd seen pictures, and I, um, I had all these records and played them over and over. And I, the first time I saw him playing, I just I just started sobbing. I was, like, I was so thankful that I, I got to live in uh, a time where even if I don't get to meet him, I can I can see still the, see what he looked look like. Look in his eyes. Yeah. Yeah, it's very moving to watch videos of musicians like that. Oh, yeah. Well, that's, that doesn't get any more real than lightning. Blues is heritage. It's passed down from father to son. Um, and that's how I got it, so. And you learned a lot of music as a kid, just playing music in church and things like that. Uh, that's, that's right. I, I started playing, um, I guess professionally gospel music when I was 14. Oh, really? So. Yeah, I was sitting Yes, I was sitting on the corner of Hickory and Fry Yes, I was sitting on Hickory and Fry See all the pretty women Ooh, passing me on by. Yeah, 
<laughs> Way back when I went to college, I mean, nobody had had a PC or a, or a cell phone, and there was no internet, you know. I think people have lost the, the um, requirement to have to learn to communicate with others and, you know, where you're engaging the other person. So it, it makes it more difficult, I think. There are just so many different ways that we live these days that affect so many things. Humans are just very complex, I think. I actually went to work while I was in high school and worked at a Piggly Wiggly grocery store for a couple of years from the time I was 15 through 17 and then at age 18 I went to work in a factory and worked there a year and then went to college. I worked at Baskin and Robbins and Walmart while I went to college and then ended up working for the school as a, as a tutor, an English tutor and then um, became a graduate assistant, you know. I remember the first year I was married, so so I got married as I was um, halfway through my master's degree, you know, and then finished that and then had a, a one-year teaching position over there, and then we moved out here. But anyway, I was really proud of it. I thought that was so cool. I liked helping people learn to write better, you know, and I liked analyzing their papers. But um, the cost of living was pretty expensive out here. And so I had a lot of guilt feelings about being irresponsible, you know, and, and I didn't know what to do. I was already about 30 and I just didn't want to go back to get my PhD, you know, and, and I thought about being a chiropractor and I tried to think of things that would fit me, you know, that paid decent, but um, you can waste so much time and money trying to, to do stuff like that. But anyway, so that ended up in my being divorced. Ultimately, I think that my wanting to be creative and and willingness to accept jobs that paid less just didn't didn't fly. But um, it's a big world out there. Tell me something I 
Caleb, I yes, appreciate sir. it. No problem. And uh, so you've been playing around in the Denton area for how long now? Well, I moved here in May. May. And immediately just started going to open mics and trying to uh, get some things out and, and uh, play every chance I could. What is your, you, though you, you, uh, you live close by, you, you, you're from Texas. and When I was in high school, I went to work for uh, a guy named Jim Ward, who's my best friend in the world. He's a Vietnam veteran, and um, I started training cutting horses and breaking colts for him. That's what I wanted to do because he had such an influence on me, and I thought, man, this is really what I want to do. Yeah. I was playing guitar mm -hmm. back then, just barely. I knew three chords, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, then, you know, when I went to work for Steve Callclaser after graduating high school, I was still playing, and I finally decided, hey, this is what I want to do more than go ride horses every day and so I'm still trying to get it going but when yeah as a kid I wanted to I wanted to do something with horses and and uh, or possibly you know be a football coach which I'm getting an English degree at this at UNT for um, English and coaching so that's just kind of a backup plan though a lot of people come from Fort Worth and so on it seems like yeah I, I like it because well, you know, we're here at the highway split, 35 east and west, but, um, you know, are still around the Metroplex and you get, of course, the university, you get such a melting pot and yeah. such a degree of, uh, you know, diversity that, you know, isn't matched in places like where I'm from or, you know, small towns or whatever, so. What do you think about all the growth that's taking place in North Texas? You think it's a good thing? Yeah, 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 absolutely, yeah, yeah. Growth is always a always a good thing. I think you know. This might be like Southern California someday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could have a new Sound City down here. You know. From the start, we had begun, and all the prices paid. Follow the heart over the sun, though we were so afraid. They knocked us down and showed our sins. We fell to the bottom, but rose up again. The more we bleed, the harder we strive, cause nothing kills more than the hunger for life. My baby, for the days we face, the dry. Here today. Thank you for coming. Hi, it's good to be here. Good to have you here. I'm a classically unprepared musician uh, because I didn't have a guitar pick, so I just cut my Safeway card into a, into a guitar pick. So, how long did you live in California? Two years. Two years. Mm -hmm. You didn't go to high school out there? No, no, no. Um, I, I 
I went to high school in Midland, Odessa, Texas, which oh, is my you? original hometown before I even moved to Denton. Yeah, so you're um, a Texas person. Yeah, I'm a Texan. Yeah. I'm a Texas girl. <laughs> So you've been to one of those Burning Man festivals? You yeah, saying? I went to Burning Man while I was in California. What's that like? Oh, it's a playground, man. Really? It's a big grown-up playground. That's Very good. worth it. <laughs> I'd be too old to go to one of those, I guess. I don't know. Mm -mm. Older people come? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. And they're the best people there. Well, I hope it's more than a local Q&A. The guests reveal so much about their lives and their reasons for playing certain kinds of music and, and who their heroes were. Um, I think it does enhance community in many ways. And uh, I've been really amazed by the level of talent of the people who volunteered to be on the show. It's just truly amazing that the world-class talent that live right here in North Texas. Having a great show is one of the best feelings in the world. You know, they're not all perfect, they're not all great, but when you do have that, it's just nothing's more fulfilling. That's why I continue to do music. Big thanks to Stephen Michael Miller, Brian from the other side for having me today. Just begins to set with my summer sweat. I keep on walking the way I need to get. I'm feeling good out here, even though I'm all alone. A few passing cars with the shiny stars, the buzzing bugs, and the echoing bars all come together for one familiar tone. Cause when I live it, See it like I dream it. I do not fear it. I believe it. And when I hear it, I receive it. Oh, cause I'm one with it and it is one with me. And I'm one with it and it one with me I'm one with it and it is one with me and I'm one with it and it is one with me one with me it's been so um, much fun to me and so such a, a meaningful thing for my life to be able to to interview these people and be aired by a, 
be filmed at a university like that, you know, and actually on a, a channel where it airs on uh, in the community through cable. This is a poem that I wrote while I went to Louisiana Tech. I hope you enjoy it. It's entitled, Games. The way we live our lives is like children playing silly games. But no matter what games we play, they all come to an end when we sleep at night. Sleep is the only escape we have from reality, and death is eternal peace. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it and have a great day.